What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another video to the channel. For this video, I actually have a mod installation for my E90. I haven't done a mod on the E90, uh, the 328i, in a very long time. I believe the last mod I did were my headlights, my headlight retrofit, which was June of 2020, so last summer. And I haven't done anything since, so this would be the first thing I've done in forever. So um, for this mod, I have some M3 style mirror caps. Um, this is a pretty common mod that a lot of people do for the E90s. I haven't done it on mine. I have seen it before, but I just haven't done it because I felt like it was just kind of eh, unnecessary too much because it's just the 328i. But I feel like um, it's time to just try it out. So I just want to try it out. So I went ahead and bought some gloss black M3 style mirror caps from Amazon. So these weren't too expensive. I didn't want to get carbon fiber because I felt like that was just too much. So I just got these gloss black ones, which is the next best thing. So I have the new mirror caps here. As you can see, it has a nice glossy finish. From what I can see, it doesn't look like it has any imperfections or little blemishes. From what I can see here, significant ones. Um, for the most part, it looks great. So impressed with that already. But I mean, obviously the important part is the fitment and how these fit on the mirrors. And it's always kind of sketchy ordering from Amazon or eBay because you don't know if it's really going to be that great of a fitment. So that'll be the real test. Uh, these should be pretty easy to install from what I've seen. It's extremely easy. You just got to pop off the stock mirror caps. Take a look at it in the sun here. The finish looks excellent like I stated earlier in the shade. It does have some like dust debris on there but that'll come off. But as for the finish, it looks excellent i don't have any complaints on that so far so installing these like i said should be really easy all you really have to do is just kind of use a pry tool to pop this out um, just pry it out around the edges here and it should just pop out and that's literally it so i'm going to try to do that now with a little pry tool that i have uh, laying around Well, that was pretty easy uh, yeah that was really easy so looking at the new one and then the stock one just want to make sure that the little clips right here inside are in the same general spots that line up with the clips on the actual mirror here it looks pretty good so I think we should be fine so I'm just gonna go ahead and, and try to install this one I got it, but it fell on the floor. So, uh, wow. Damage doesn't look too bad, but if you're doing this, make sure to put your hand in front or behind the mirror so it doesn't fly off. Um, not sure why I didn't do that on this one, even though I did it on the first one over there. But I mean, I got it off, so that's good. This one was more of a struggle than the other side. Uh, I'm not sure why, but got it off so now we can put on the new one
When you're putting these on, just make sure that you put this inside first and then just make your way over here and then push in. But I'll start on this side first so this lines up and everything. Um, I noticed that it wasn't lining up when I start more in the middle or on this side. Also on these, there's like a little groove in here. Uh, so this little edge right here can slide inside this little groove. So if it's not going in, it's because it's not um, sliding inside this groove here. guys these actually look pretty sick not gonna lie these look pretty badass I was kind of skeptical at first but these actually look pretty sick I think it's because the rest of the car is so modified and it looks so aggressive these mirror caps go perfectly with the rest of the car I'm definitely impressed with these. Giving it that M style look. Here's a look from this side. Pretty sweet. As for the finish, I can see some very, very minor like blemishes in the finish. This part looks uneven in terms of the, like it's not smooth, it's kind of, there's like a little bit of an indent right there, I don't know if you can see it on camera. Oh, there it is. On certain lighting you can see it. So there's that, and along the edge there you can kind of see too, it's like uneven, it's not smooth. But I mean overall, finish is good I mean that's really nitpicking at this um, I don't really usually care as long as you can't really noticeably see I don't mind so I don't really care honestly it still looks pretty good nice and glossy as for the fitment uh, as you saw it fits good it's not doesn't feel like it's gonna fall off at any time it seems like it's pretty secured on there on both sides so I think we should be good with the fitment so no complaints there but yeah guys this looks I'm, I'm satisfied I'm impressed I like them I think this added a nice touch of aggressiveness that goes well with the rest of the car alright so there you guys have it I'm definitely satisfied with these mirror caps they look awesome uh, definitely surprised and I kind of doubted it too much. I should have did this a long time ago. Honestly, this is one of the easier mods and cheap mods that you could do. These mirror caps that I got from Amazon only cost like $53 if I remember correctly. They weren't that much compared to like the carbon fiber mirror caps that you can get. Um, I could have gotten those too, but I honestly didn't want to spend that much on just some mirror caps. So that's why I went with these with gloss black, the next best thing. Um, I definitely like these and I will link them down if you guys want to check these out. It's definitely a cheap and easy mod as you saw. Super easy to install these, all you have to do, it just takes some little bit of finagling and struggling to get the stock mirror cap off, but overall, very easy. Definitely a cheap and easy mod if you have a E90, 328i or 335i, any of those, they're the same. As for any future mods, since this pretty much is all of the, after this, that's pretty much all of the easy mods, um, and I've pretty much done everything else. So there's not that much I could do to the 328i since I've done everything already. But there are some things that I'm working on um, possibly doing to the 328i, since um, it's kind of at the end of the line here when it comes to mods. I've pretty much done everything, like I said. Uh, but stay tuned, I do have more videos on mods and maintenance for 328i. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. Pretty simple, straightforward video. Um, nothing really too complicated or spectacular. Um, so yeah, that's going to wrap up this video. 
If you have any comments or questions, comment them down below. Feel free to drop any mod suggestions that I maybe haven't thought of. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more content like this. But I will see you guys in the next video.